Friends and fans, I would like to remind you to check us out at twitch.tv forward slash ratpack, and I would like to thank you for continuing to join me here in Wargame Red Dragon, the second Korean War. We left off at a successful battle at Kills You, where we did take some losses, but damn it, we destroyed an enemy force of BMP3s, which were a pain, and we made everyone else uh, start fleeing on the run. Uh, looks like the enemy's really down to a low number of t tanks and everything else. They got some real heavy hitters with them now for the next turn, but we gonna beat the ass. But speaking of beating ass, we gotta first do it at Taechan, then Pyongyang. Let's get right into it then. Again, tell a friend, like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you so much for your support. I've not seen so much support uh, ever in my life, uh, so thank you so much for that. I greatly appreciate that. Taechan, here we go. Let's get down with them, bros. Now, again, we have a little bit of trouble here. We've got the uh, tank regiment against us. And we've got some real heavy hitters against us. But what we do have is we have the Chinese, uh, the uh, French tanks with us, which are fantastic. We've got that awesome, awesome, uh, where are we, the Leclerc down to four, so we can't lose that. We will definitely save one, so that way we can save the squad. And we've got some uh, W48AK5s, which basically we can set as roadblocks for enemy armor, and then finish them off with, uh, with our lovely, lovely A10s. Our, uh, well, let's see, the 25 F... S awesome dragons. Yeah, we'll be dragon ass. The enemy's gonna be dragon ass after we blow it off with our A10, A Thunderbolt 2s. 140 points with Mavericks times six. It's really not much they can do to stop us. They do have an anti-air. Well, they have a air defense company with them, but really that consists of uh, PGZ 95s, which we took a. I think one of them out, and uh, HQ 61s, which we we can get those no problem. No problem. Ain't none to. Not, not in the fret. Ain't not in the fret. All right, so Pyongyang and Alpha, of course, are the most important, as it's A, the clo clo uh, closest callout in Alpha, being the uh, only area that we can capture that has points, and then we'll try to move out into other, other areas. Uh, knowing the computer, of course, they'll be able to afford every single tank ever made by any sort of person who even thought about being communist, and uh, we'll be able to get maybe two tanks. So that's the way it rolls, I guess. All right, speaking of rolling, let's get rolling ourselves here. Gonna go ahead and uh, start off with our standard security setup around uh, Alpha, and it looks like they want us to put our fob there, but they must be crazy. It looks like they started with a KM900 there, as well. But we'll just delete that one and put one over here instead. Um, <clears throat> we could actually probably yeah, we're gonna go for the affordability, so we're gonna go ahead and put out another KM900, and we need Leclerc's, and we need AA, and we need some aircraft up as well. We do have the Raphael C and the. Uh, the Mirage 2000 CRDI as well with us, and that's fantastic. Uh, both good killers, but we uh, <clears throat> gonna really need to take out those enemy rocket uh, aircraft. They're gonna they're gonna stun our tanks, and uh, that we cannot have. <clears throat> so we can send out the 45 points right away, and we're gonna have to defend that bridge as usual. We're gonna have a come at me bro situation. By the way, when the enemy sees anything that we have, they're immediately going to start sending out troops. So let's get out our heavy hitters first. And uh, which we did, and we're gonna put some, uh, we're gonna put some troops in these uh, villages. Let's put, uh, you know, what, let's actually put heavy elite troops in these villages, and we'll put Yebi gun all around for extra security. If and when we can, we will go to Foxtrot, which will probably not happen. But uh, regardless, KM 900s with Yebi guns are going to hide anywhere that they can fit and or just stand out in the open because at least it'll slow the enemy down. All right, so we'll need our AA, and uh, we'll need our uh, Leclerc's ready, and uh, hopefully the enemy doesn't see us. Morale points are equal, so here we go. Here's for a good battle. All right, the RSA and Leclerc's are up. They're on defense. Pyongyang capture is up, and uh, we're getting our income of plus nine, which is great. Going to put our uh, Yebi gun up in the mountains, and these guys can stay where they're at. The rest of the Yebi gun here can uh, hide out in the woods, and uh, KM 900s are going to go on a secret operation to do exactly what they did last time. At least it gets the enemy to get real pissed off and makes them panic a little bit. We have our A10 Thunderbolts ready uh, and waiting. They're just building up their numbers, or our, our income is building up. We could actually ca uh, capture Bravo, and that might be a little bit, uh, a little bit more feasible and easier to defend. Uh, so we'll attempt that. Income here is important. But we're going to need more in terms of air defense, I believe. And uh, the Raphael is really going to be what we need the most. However, the enemy AA <clears throat> going to make me think twice about actually attacking with that. KM-900s are moving towards Tanchan. Should be there soon. Yebigun are ready to rock. They're in the mountains. 
Uh, it's going to be hard for enemy troops coming this way to see them. At this point, I need infantry. I need recon. I need more income. But we can only do one thing at a time, and we really have to see how the enemy reacts to us even being here before we come up with a remedy. You can't plan for every enemy attack because they just know how to plan better than you because they know exactly what you got and where you got it. So let's go ahead and get our Leclerc's right on the line. RSAs are... Our WRSAs are guarding the bridge, and Leclerc should be able to engage anything on either the bridge side, as you can see the range, or coming down the road to try to flank Alpha. Anything else we'll have to uh, cut right through here or here, which we have defenses ready for. So we're just going to go ahead and sit back, build up, and give the enemy a big middle finger. All right, we're going to come up uh, here, and we're going to try to get behind them, find a command, and maybe, hopefully, end this battle early by kind of a weird technicality of just killing their only command, though... I'm sure they have more, and I'm sure they'll capture Foxtrot at some point. Our forces here, the KM 900s, uh, not crossing the bridge as they should have. So you got, you always got to baby these units sometimes. All right, the ZTZ 85 is uh, firing at our troops, trying to kill the KAFV 25. Our forces are engaging it. It's shaken. Really should uh, be a little bit more than that at this point. It's got a lot of AT firing at it. There we go, 125 point tank down. We got a 357 now. Got that magnum income. All right, magnum income incoming. All right, we've got uh, a need for more things. We need. Uh, oh boy, what do we need? Luckily, not a lot of enemy air even spotted yet. I thought it would start flying out as soon as our troops engaged, but nope, not so far. Uh, we even captured some Chinese supply trucks. Uh, we'll send some supplies into Alpha. They're going to need it, as well as some additional tanks. Just three tanks to hold. KM-900 should be ready to rock. Let's go. This flanking maneuver, by the way, really gets sets the enemy off. It's funny because if, if and when you get close to their sector here, they will start calling out almost everything they've got in order to try to stop you. They'll call out the random infantry. It really puts them into a big mess and stops any sort of for more, a forward momentum they've gained through uh, fighting you. <clears throat> we can capture Kaesong, but no need to do so. We'll come up behind Bravo. Actually, we're going to go the long way. And uh, Zill cargo trucks are heading right for Alpha. KM-900s are on the way, and we've got our aircraft ready. All we have to do is ca uh, call it out. Looks like they've actually spotted our uh, our convoy, so we'll, we're going to go ahead and spot their convoy with our convoy, which is basically this uh, awesome unit here. So 80-point tanks here. Let's get let's uh, get hidden, and we'll start taking out some free freebie tanks. Thunderbolt 2, let's have them come in from the south and head up to the north, and... Uh, Hopefully we'll have enough income to buy our um, air-to-air -air in just a second. KM-900s can keep a nice eye on the enemy. And it looks like Tanchan was just captured. Interesting. Alright, so here comes the Thunderbolt. And both misses. Awesome. Fantastic. Just a fantastic unit. 40% accuracy with that uh, weapon, by the way. He's out of missiles. To kill one 80-point uh, tank, not worth it at all. Should be uh, should be a much better unit, actually. That's shameful. All right, Zil Cargo are up. Tanchan's going to have uh, some spam chan. That's what it should be called. And the Thunderbolt apparently took some damage on the way out. What the hell? Way to add insult to injury. We don't have any helicopters with us, and we don't have any helicopter-borne troops, which would be the perfect way to eliminate Tanchan. But we're going to go to Bravo instead for the extra points. We're going to send up a recon and uh, see if we can see what's at Tanchan, and then also call out another uh, Thunderbolt, which has pretty good air detection. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hold with uh, two of these just in case we get into trouble. Now we're going to do an initial strike just to see what we can see. And the enemy actually, I don't know how that, they must have got around us by going this way. Uh, so we'll try to head into Foxtrot to see what we can see there with our Yebby gun. And we'll send these KM-900s back. Uh, these tanks are 80 points each, and the enemy's not really attacking us. Let's 
All right, one, th one Thunderbolt will head to the tanks of the bridge that have en engaged the Romulan. But at least we can kill this one. Well, let's actually go back down now. Enemy tank heading up over the ridge. It's going to be a... Uh, troop transports. And enemy tanks are active now. 80 point tanks. I thought they were troop transports. Let's head back up to that ridge. And we're just going to... If they're going to spam, so are we. Of course, these uh, units are only trained, so... Well, let's give them hell. Alright, we have an A-10 Thunderbolt down. Some sort of Romulan uh, AA in there. find it hard to believe that we can't see the AA units that are shooting at us. By the way, those A-10s have uh, titanium uh, plating under them, so that's kind of BS right there. And Tanchon is panicking a little bit. Alright, enemy command up here. Oh, it's a tank, isn't it? Yes, it is. Haven't seen their big tanks yet. I wonder where their uh, tank went at Tanchan. 60 point recon tank somehow missed our uh, command unit. Recon having trouble seeing recon. The sleeper 59. A lot of tanks building up down there. Thunderbolt better kill this. <laughs> it engaged this Romulan cloak after killing a unit. Are oh, we're gonna get out of there. We're gonna send up our Leclerc's and everything else. And another A-10 destroyed, so that's gonna be the end of the A-10s now. Not gonna be able to use those anymore, they're too, too derp. They're getting pretty close to our units, so we're going to go ahead and keep an eye on them. PGZ-95s. I don't think those were the ones that killed them at all. But we're going to get more units into the uh, woods there. Oh, they went for our supply trucks, as I was just going to move them. <clears throat> Interesting. These high numbers, uh, you know, they don't, they don't account to skill. They just kind of account towards our troops having difficulty pushing them back. We're going to make sure uh, the enemy pays, though, for their advances. And luckily, we've got them uh, at Bravo as well. So it looks like they've uh, completely cut off Alpha. We're going to try to run into this uh, village sector down here and then come back a little bit later. I haven't seen any enemy air forces. There's not really much we could do to take those on other than using the same number of tanks. And uh, we're low on other units, so I have to be picky about using them so we can replenish them later. We're going to put Yebby Gun right there, though, and push back into Alpha. Interesting, by the way, how the enemy kind of ignores it after they've disabled the area. We do have an eye on them at uh, Foxtrot, and they're about to approach Yebby Gun. Looks like they might be... Uh, oh, that, is that the AA? That might actually be the AA units. Yebby Gun are panicked as hell. They missed on their first shot. All right, the clerks are coming up. Bong Chosu are ready to take that village again. And uh, Tan Shan could be ours for an extra reinforcement zone. Now let's uh, move back now with the uh, Bong Chu or ba uh, ba the Bamboo, the Bamboo forces. All right, the clerk tanks. Uh, we'll see how much of a battering they can take. Stop right at the top. One 
one uh, group worried the clerk's uh, taking an extra second to do their taxes before firing. This will give the uh, M48s an extra fighting chance. More guns on the enemy now. Optical failure. Alright, these uh, lighter tanks are going to push through while the Leclerc's support. Infantry is going to come up and just drive right into the middle of them. We're going to play the Chinese game on their own terms then. And uh, 62G is coming down here, which is a tank, recon tank. We're going to try to take that down. My goal here is just to drive into the middle of those tanks and right about now. Alright, so they should be panicked as hell. Alright, Thunderbolt's just gonna have to GTFO. GTF no! It's the end of the uh, A-10s. They were very unskilled by the way which uh, is never easy to fight with, especially in this territory. So there were there were barely trained units and that's another unfortunate loss, but necessary to hold the area. We had to uh, keep that Bravo sector and the commands are a little bit more important sometimes as they are here. Alright, the clerks are gonna clean up. Let's get rid of those PGZs. And uh, we'll take down those uh, 85s as well. Let's just go ahead and attack with everything we got. Alright, Leclerc's a little bit more important than the uh, A-10s. A-10s already are a little bit derpy. I don't, I don't like uh, ATGM aircraft like that. I, I don't have much success with them, to be honest, other than the Harriers. Because the Harriers are multi-roll, they, they just target two tanks and get out as where the A-10s are kind of... Uh, I don't know, I've just never had a lot of luck with them, so a, a loss, but uh, not, not I'm not shocked by that at all. Alright, we're down on tanks. We're going to need some extra security. 85, uh, done. We'll push into Foxtrot now, see if we can clear out a command and or extra units. Hopefully this isn't their big tanks now. And we're low on tanks. We have uh, plenty of vehicles, but this hilly terrain does not make it easy. And uh, it's just a it's a difficult fight regardless of what we do. No seed, seed aircraft, which would be nice. Artillery is not going to do much, too much to resupply at this moment. And uh, going to keep killing these units here. Leclerc uh, apparently self-destructed told them to target the other unit. There we are. Alright, so we're down to the three Leclerc's. There's two here, and then we've got one in reserve just to uh, repair, or, or so we can refit it and get that group back. I should have did that with the A-10s, but uh, PGZs are coming up. Wow, Leclerc taking another death. Come on now. I, I don't understand, by the way, how this advanced tank could could have done that by the way we could have turned and easily engaged that but then again this is a pretty pretty brutal tank battle here and the enemy taking 80 point losses almost at every turn all right yebby gun gonna clear out the forest there recon's not gonna do much their recon's better They've got recon tanks, which are amazingly effective. Now they're going to surround us and take us down. Leclerc's uh, going to be gone here in about four seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, he got behind the building, so he gets an extra, extra second of life. There he is. So that's it, we got the one Leclerc left, that's it for our tank reinforcements. Again, the enemy tanks, I mean, what, what am I supposed to do against this, you know? Five, 
fighting spam on spam is not easy. Look at this. They, I mean, they've got... They've got so many tanks, it's just that's the way it is. Go up and capture that cargo truck, though. That'll be nice. M48 AK... Or 5K. Getting a kill on an 80-point tank there. Nice. Enemy unit here. Gonna insta-kill our recon. Oh, almost. He's just out of our range. And we're gonna have to run with our recon again. Look at how they turned that battle over so quickly. Alright, well, we're gonna have to do a final stand around our base, just in case they actually get in. They killed that command there, Bong Chosu. Actually might be killed by this other recon tank. Every time we kill a unit, they just uh, have the ability to replenish. Alright, let's stop here and shoot. We've got more affordable tanks, which means we can... It is much better to get close and engage them like that than it is to fire at distance. It's not really too... It's not wise to engage with a large number of units at distance like that, because they have a better accuracy at, at that kind of distance. you got to close in and try to surround them. And that's what they do to us sometimes. All right, we don't really... All right, we're going to try to go on a raid. I'm going to try to go up there and uh, do what I can with the units we've got. And uh, we're going to try to come down here just to block. I'm surprised this bong, uh, the bong boo, which I may have been calling bong boat, whatever. It doesn't matter. Our command's going to pull out to uh, the Pyongyang capture, and those tanks are going to sit there to defend the bridge and also that uh, capture zone. Toe should be able to be able to see, hopefully be able to see this uh, area here. And uh, you can see, even with the advanced tanks, you know, I may have not uh, may have not placed them uh, correctly in Alpha, but the thing is, is they're coming from multiple areas, and we have to hold to be able to have the income to fight them back, because uh, holding it just Pyongyang on those bridges, they would have eventually cracked us, and possibly with their aircraft could have bombed us uh, into the corner as well. Well, we would have already been in the corner, but they could have kept it up. I don't know if this attack's going to work, but we're just going to try to go for a command kill. And this is going to end in an interesting draw, but at least it keeps the enemy out of Pyongyang. And uh, unfortunately, we won't have the nice extra Leclerc's with us uh, to fight the enemy back, but we're going to have to reinforce these uh, troops at some point. Uh, luckily, they did lose a lot of their tanks here today, and uh, that makes the situation a little bit more easy for us. 51 seconds to get into this uh, command zone here. I hope we can get into it. KM 900s are going to cross. Feudal. But uh, a possible kill of, a, of an air support unit or something like that. In fact, let's just go ahead and get some aircraft up just to see if we can get the enemy to call out any anything. And uh, they probably won't. But you never know. We did uh, win in points, but it'll be a draw. And uh, unfortunately, with the number of tanks we've lost and with the uh, sector not being a total victory... Uh, this is just not going to be a win. We're going to have to fight this battle again in the future, but it does allow us to move on to the next turn and does allow us to call out more units that we needed. Oh, Q5Ds actually did get pissed. Too bad we won't have enough time to engage them. 115 point kill! Alright, I wonder if... I think that counted. I'm not sure. I hope it did. Ending in a draw, though, as I had said, and on, unfortunately losing the ass some dragons, but man, those were those were a big pain in the ass. That's what they were. Uh, dealing with those in that mountainous terrain, not easy. But really anywhere, they wouldn't have been uh, so good. E maybe at Sanchan, but that would have been it. But we did get the extra support from them for the time being, and now hopefully we can bring the Germans over to show the uh, Chinese how it's done. But the French will be able to... They'll come back someday. We'll bring the French over to uh, Sanchan if they don't attack again, and uh, we will get them the reinforcements they need. So let's go ahead and uh, enter Pyongyang, shall we? We'll get our forces uh, ready to go. Actually, well, we'll just do that the next turn. Forget it. I'll just end it here and uh, remind you guys to keep your passwords and pimp hands strong. Check us out at twitch.tv forward slash rat pack the next turn. We'll start moving into Pyongyang and then we'll end the turn or we'll fight there and then end the turn 
and uh, get some of these units down to reinforce. We'll switch spots and keep Pyongyang surrounded. And then <clears throat> the two final blows are finally here. I'm assuming in the next four episodes or so, you'll see Chongjing and Pyongyang probably, hopefully, come under our control in one or two, well, hopefully within one turn of each other. So that's it for now. I will see you guys. Bye. Thanks for the support.